The 66-inch Marlin is a ceiling fan with a modern DC motor and large ABS blades. The fan is rated for indoor use and is remote control operated. The 66-inch blade span is perfectly suited for great rooms that are 20 feet by 20 feet or larger. The fan can be installed on regular ceilings or ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees. Use the menu to skip ahead or continue watching for the complete installation guide. To install the fan, you will need a UL listed outlet box that has four fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a step ladder, screwdriver, wire stripper, and electrical tape. Begin by turning power off at the breaker. On the canopy assembly, twist and remove the canopy ring. Unscrew the non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. On the fan motor assembly, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. Guide the motor wires through the down rod and insert it into the collar. Align the holes, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy over the down rod. Reinstall the hanger ball, being sure to secure the ground lead, insert the cross pin, and tighten the set screw against the side of the down rod. If you are using a longer extended down rod, optional wire extenders are included. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Bring the hanger bracket up to the box and slide the slots over the screws. Tighten both screws securely. Carefully bring the fan motor up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket. Turn the motor until the groove in the ball aligns with the tab in the hanger bracket. Now you can make the electrical connections. Bring the receiver up to the ceiling box. Slide the receiver into the bracket with the flat side facing up. If the receiver doesn't fit, tilt the hanger ball as you guide it in. Use wire nuts to connect the ground wires from the receiver, down rod, hanger bracket, and ceiling box together. Connect the neutral wire from the ceiling box to the white wire from the receiver. Connect the hot wire from the ceiling box to the black wire from the receiver. Connect the two pin wire connectors from the fan and receiver. Connect the three pin wire connectors from the fan and receiver. If applicable, cap off any unused wires from the ceiling box. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Align and twist the canopy over the hanger bracket screws. Insert the removed screws and tighten all screws securely. Align and twist the canopy ring over the screws. The fan blades are now ready to install. Bring a fan blade up to the fan and align it underneath the motor. Align the blade support plate holes, then insert and tighten three blade attachment screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. The light kit assembly can now be installed. On the motor's mounting ring, remove one of the screws and loosen the remaining screws. Bring the mounting plate up to the fan. Align and twist over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws securely. Remove one of the screws from the mounting plate and loosen the remaining screws. Bring the LED light kit up to the fan and connect the two pin wire connectors. Align and twist over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws securely. Bring the glass shade up to the fan. Align and turn into the light kit until snug. The fan is now fully assembled and the remote is now ready for setup. Begin by installing the two included batteries. By default, the dip switch will be set to zero for universal operation. 
Simply restore power to the fan and press the on off button to start it up. If your fan does not respond to the remote, press the learn button. If you are installing multiple DC ceiling fans or experiencing interference, you will need to set the dip switch to one for paired operation. With power off to all fans, begin by restoring power to the first fan only. Within 30 seconds, press the learn button on the remote. The fan light will flash on and off to indicate the pairing was successful. Repeat the process for the remaining fans, being sure that only the fan being paired is connected to power. Power can safely be restored to all fans once the final pairing process is completed. To factory reset the fan's programming, ensure the dip switch in the remote is set to zero. Disconnect power to the fan for a few moments, then restore power and press the learn button. The fan light will flash on and off to indicate the reset was successful. With the remote properly set up, the fan is now ready to operate. The on-off button toggles the fan function. The plus and minus buttons allow you to increase or decrease the fan speed while the fan is toggled on. The Comfort Breeze button activates the Comfort Breeze function, a feature that produces a natural feeling breeze by alternating between lower and higher fan speeds. Setting 1 alternates through speeds 1 through 3, setting 2 alternates through speeds 1 through 6, and setting 3 alternates through speeds 1 through 9. The timer function turns the fan and light off after a certain amount of time has passed. The delay can be set to 2 hours, 4 hours, or 8 hours. Pressing the button a fourth time will deactivate the timer function. The reverse buttons change the direction of the fan rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to produce a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be toggled on before changing the direction of the blade rotation. The light button turns the light on or off. The dimmer buttons allow you to increase or decrease the brightness of the light. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. For technical support and assistance, call the customer service number in your owner's manual.